hello and welcome to my youtube channel canvas in this video we are going to learn how to calculate number of optical isomers in a compound the number of optical isomers is equal to the sum of number of optically active isomers plus number of meso compounds molecules with chiral centers have been divided into two categories molecules which cannot be divided into two equal halves and molecules which can be divided into two equal halves in a molecule which cannot be divided into two equal halves number of optically active isomers is 2 raised to the power n where n is the number of chiral centers number of meso compounds is equal to zero so the number of optical isomers will be equal to 2 raised to the power n plus zero which is equal to 2 raised to the power n Molecules which can be divided into two equal halves have further been have further been categorized into the molecule with even number of chiral centers and the molecule with odd number of chiral centers. In the first case, number of optically active isomers is equal to 2 raised to the power n minus 1. Number of meso compounds is equal to 2 raised to the power n upon 2 minus 1. So, the total number of optical isomers will be equal to 2 raised to the power n minus 1 plus 2 raised to the power n upon 2 minus 1. In the second case, number of optically active isomers is equal to 2 raised to the power n minus 1 minus 2 raised to the power n minus 1 upon 2. Number of meso compounds is equal to 2 raised to the power n minus 1 upon 2 so in this case total number of optical isomers will be equal to 2 raised to the power n minus 1 now let's discuss these three cases with examples one by one the first case is molecules with chiral centers which cannot be divided into two equal halves. Let's have the example of lactic acid. It has one chiral center and cannot be divided into two equal halves. Here n is equal to 1. So number of optically active isomers is equal to 2 raised to the power n is equal to 2 raised to the power 1 is equal to 2 number of meso compounds is equal to 0 so number of optically active number of optical isomers will be equal to 2 plus 0 is equal to 2 these two isomers are R lactic acid and S lactic acid. Another example is 3 chlorobutane 2 all. It cannot be divided into two equal halves and has two chiral centers. So here n is equal to 2. Number of optically active isomers will be equal to 2 raised to the power n is equal to 2 raised to the power 2 
is equal to 4. Number of meso compounds is equal to 0. Thus, total number of optical isomers will be equal to 4 plus 0 is equal to 4. These isomers are 2R3R, 2S3R, 2R3S and 2S3S. Molecules which can be divided into two equal halves and have even number of chiral centers. The first example which we are going to take is tartaric acid. It has two chiral centers. So, N is equal to 2. This is the plane of symmetry which divides it into two equal halves. So, number of optically active isomers will be equal to 2 raised to the power n minus 1 is equal to 2 raised to the power 2 minus 1 is equal to 2 raised to the power 1 is equal to 2. Number of meso compounds will be equal to 2 raised to the power n upon 2 minus 1 is equal to 2 raised to the power 2 upon 2 minus 1 is equal to 2 raised to the power 0 is equal to 1. Thus, total number of optical isomers will be equal to 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. These optical isomers are 2R3R, 2S3S and 2R3S. Two, two Out of these three, 2R3R and 2S3S are optically active, while 2R3S is meso due to the presence of plane of symmetry. The next example is hexane 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hexol. It has four chiral centers, so n is equal to 4. This is the plane of symmetry dividing the molecule into two equal halves. So, number of optically active isomers will be equal to 2 raised to the power n minus 1 is equal to 2 raised to the power 4 minus 1 is equal to 2 raised to the power 3 is equal to 8. Number of meso compounds will be equal to 2 raised to the power n minus 1 upon uh, 2 raised to the power n upon 2 minus 1 is equal to 4 upon 2 minus 1 is equal to 2 raised to the power 1 is equal to 2. Thus, total number of optical isomers will be equal to 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. These are the 10 optical isomers out of which these 8 are optically active while these 2 are meso compounds due to the presence of plane of symmetry. Isomer 5 which is reduced form of D-glucose is also known as sorbitol. Now come to the molecules which can be divided into two equal halves and have odd number of chiral centers. Pentane 234 triol is one of the examples of this type. It has three chiral centers, so n is equal to 3. It can be divided into two equal halves as it has a plane of symmetry. Number of optically active isomers will be equal to 2 raised to the power n minus 1 minus 
2 raised to the power n minus 1 upon 2 is equal to 2 raised to the power 3 minus 1 minus 2 raised to the power 3 minus 1 upon 2 is equal to 2 raised to the power 2 minus 2 raised to the power 1 is equal to 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. Number of meso compounds will be equal to 2 raised to the power n minus 1 upon 2 is equal to 2 raised to the power 3 minus 1 upon 2 is equal to 2 raised to the power 1 is equal to 2. So, total number of optical isomers will be 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. These are the four optical isomers out of which 1 and 2 are optically active while 3 and 4 are meso compounds. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.